Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Real Selling Pally, if you don't already know me, uh, I am a reseller in the northwest of the UK and I buy things at auctions, jumble sales, uh, charity shops, car boot sales, to uh, flip on eBay to make a profit and make a living from it. Uh, I do this full time, I give up a full time job um about just over a year ago and i've been doing this full time ever since so i just thought i would bring you a, a bit of a little bit of a jumble sale haul and uh some charity shop stuff that i've picked up uh, over the last few days i don't go to many jumble sales around here uh we don't tend to get a lot uh, you really have to search for them but this one was about half an hour drive from me and yeah it was it was okay i found it a bit overwhelming um because the tables were really piled high with clothes and there's people scrambling around everywhere so I, I found it a bit daunting but i picked up a few pieces didn't get a lot uh, but what i did get was good a couple of the items i haven't got with me because they're up at my unit uh, but i will tell you about them anyway they were quite good finds and then i shall show you some stuff that i got from the charity shop as well so um right the first item i picked up from the jumble trail was these boots these are by a company called merrill and they're a walking boot at a really good condition uh the only problem with the this one is i don't know if you can see there the badges come off a little bit there and it should be like that one on there but it doesn't affect the boots in any way i will declare this in the listing and i paid 50p for them so 50p for a pair of Merrill walking boots. They are an expensive brand. Um, I should be looking at upwards of £30 for those, if not a bit more. So they were a good find. Also a pair of Clarks. Um, I don't think that they're unstructured, but they do say wide fitting. Any shoes that are wide fit are always worth picking up. They're in good condition. They want a little bit of a bit of polish on them but again 50 pence for those um they were a good find and yeah not much more else i can say about that really and i got also if i can find it i have it here somewhere no it eludes me <laughs> it's a plush like I haven't got enough. These are my own personal ones. These I, I do like a, an ER for their mine. Uh, it is a jelly cat and it is a pig. And it's a retired one from 2012. Paid a pound for that. Hopefully get about, about £10-ish. Used to be able to get a lot more for uh, jelly cats, but they seem to have plummeted a bit in price. So, but for a pound, I thought I'd give it a go. And then the only other item that I've got, I've got it hung up from the jumble trail here is this lovely lovely lush it is a per una and it is a animal print i'm not quite sure just put it in the picture animal print jacket and uh, again 50 pence 50p so i'm hoping for around about 30 on that maybe a little bit more i'll do a bit more research on that but yeah happy with that for 50 pence and the other two items that i got that aren't actually with me was a nintendo ds donkey kong game for 50 pence as well that should go for 15 i've already got that listed actually at 15 pounds and uh the pickup of the day was a sealed harry potter seen it cinematic and i i actually had to stride over somebody to get at it um i seen it and it was like i just made a straight beeline for that and i didn't realize it was sealed at the time the lady said two pound for it so Capley gave her the two pound went back to the car and found out that it was sealed so it's new and sealed so it, that was a fantastic find and there is another item i picked up it is a CD player, but it's from part of a system, a Sony one. And I asked how much, because I'm not into electricals at all, one little bit, I wouldn't have a clue. And um, in fact, I'll go and get it and show you because people might know, I don't have a clue, but I'll get it. 
should have got it at the beginning, but I didn't. Right, here we go. So, it's got the remote with it. There's no uh, instruction manual or anything with it. So, it is a Sony, and I think there it will be on there what the brand, uh, the model number is. Uh, and like I say, it's a CD player. I've not tested it or anything yet. It's got the remote control with it. Like I said, I wouldn't ordinarily have picked this up because not, it's not really my area, but when I asked how much it was, he said £1.50. So £1.50, I'm going to take a chance on that. So I have done a quick uh, look and they go for around about £30-ish. So as long as it's working and everything, I'm quite happy to set £30 for a £1.50 investment. That was that. So that was all I really got from the um, jumble sale. I then went into the town because it was on the outskirts of the town centre and we got some other stuff. So um, it's all a bit jumbled up, not quite sure where I got what from. So I'll just go through it and just show you what I've got. So uh, one of the items I picked up was this Kenny, I think his name is from South Park. I think he's Kenny, I'm not 100% sure. But I picked him up because he was, he said limited edition on him. He's got a bit of wear on his feet here, uh, which is quite common for these. Uh, I've had quite a few that are, are like that on the feet, but he had his tag. He's like, um, like a guard, isn't he? So I'll have to look him up. There might not be much value in him, but he was only a pound, so I thought I'll take a risk. Take a chance for a pound. So I've done quite well with uh, characters in the past. And then we're on to clothing. So. I got, if you're not into clothing, then uh, you might want to switch over now because I do predominantly clothing. I do pick up other stuff as well, but the next lot that you're going to see is clothing. So if it's really not what you're into, then uh, it might be a little bit boring for you. But for everybody else, I shall just carry on. I'm into my knitwear at the moment. It's the time of year. Usually everybody wants a nice woolly jumper and that. So I'm really and um, picking up all the jumpers I can find at the moment. Uh, these should take us right through to February, March, so before you start thinking about um, warmer stuff. So this is a mint velvet. I don't know this brand underneath, though. I've never heard of that before. Is it? I can't even pronounce it, so I'm not even going to try. And it is like um, a high-low cardigan. It's like higher at the back and uh, lower at the front with the uh, side zip. It is a size 14s. I paid 2 99 for it, and it has got a wool and a bit of mohair, I think, in it. Just check. I did check these, but I forgot. We have in this one, we have ooh, wool, 31% wool, and 32% alpaca, so it's not more worse, it's alpaca, but it's got some good stuff in it. So 2 99 for that, really happy with that. Next we've got this, it's really in need of a really good de-bobble, but it was the brand that made me pick it up, and it's really, really weird the way it, it hangs. It sort of wraps over and then up. Can't really see it there. It's like a um, sleeveless shawls type sort of high, low, waterfall, whatever you want to call it, cardi-ish. And it's by All Saints. And that one was £4.29 and it is wool. Uh, but like I say, as you can see, it needs quite a bit of de-bobbling. Well, that's not a problem. Well, it is a problem because I've lost my de-bobbler in the unit. It's 50% wool. No, it's not. It's 80% wool, sorry. 20% nylon. Yes, I've lost. I've got one of the Philips, the really good Philips de-bobblers. And I've lost it in the unit somewhere and I really can't find it. I am to clue what I've done with it. I've had the place upside down. So I've got one of the little cheaper ones from um, Quality Save. 
our home bargains, as you might know it. We've got one that's very, very similar, but it's, they call it quality save. Um, so I'm going to have to use that for now. I might have to order a new one if I can't find it. Next, we have a little navy blue shift dress, or long top, whatever you want to call it. And it is cos, and that one was 3 99 I'm not quite sure on what I'd put that on for. Probably the low 20s. There's nothing really in it. It's more like a jersey dress, so it's not nothing extra special. So the All Saints, I haven't a clue what I'm going to put that on. The Mint Velvet, I will probably aim around about 30 for that. I think the, um, the, the All Saints will depend on whether or not it, um, it comes up really good when it's been debobbled. This is a top that I might keep for myself. I really like it. It's only plain black. It's by Wuros, but it's got these split sleeves with these um, jewel. If I put my arm up there, you can see with these jewels down it. Really, really nice. Uh, I've got a couple of um, nights out with friends coming up uh, while it's Christmas, uh, so I might actually keep that and see if I can get something to go with it, a nice pair of trousers or something, but I don't know. I always tend to go for plain black. But if I was to sell it, I would probably, did I tell you how much it was? No, 3 99 I'd probably aim for around about um, 16 50 so it comes to about 20 with postage, maybe a little bit more, maybe 18 50 for that. I always do well with Wurros. Wurros is a brand that does sell really well for me. Um, so I always pick it up, especially when I see nice things like that. Um, this is an Italian brand. I'm not going to even try and pronounce it because I am terrible at pronunciation. Um, but this one is anything that's Italian made and there's wool and that, I always tend to pick up. Um, I paid $3.99 for this and probably aimed for around about 20 And it's just a little cardigan with a couple of pockets on. I think it's got a couple of things in it. Let me have a look. It's got wool in it, wool, cotton, and acrylic. So nothing amazing. Uh, the wool is only 8%, but it's still got wool. It's a key word. It's got this detailing on the shoulders as well, like this striping. Yeah, so a nice slouchy cardigan for the winter months. This is nice. Uh, I quite like this myself, but it won't fit me. It's too small for me. Um, it's by a brand called Religion. And I did pay $2.99 for this. Um, it is a good brand and it, it, it is quite expensive. Um, I'm not quite sure on the sale monetary value of resale on these. Uh, it's not something I pick up a lot of. I do know it's a good brand. But I would imagine around about... The 15 to 20 pound mark for that. This is a brand that does sell. Uh, it's not a fast seller for me, but it does sell anyway. It's Adriana Papel. I did pay seven pounds for this dress, but I just quite liked it. It's got, um, it's like embroidered. Plain black embroidered, and I thought with Christmas coming up, um, it might appeal to somebody. It's a sweetheart front and a V back. Um, so yeah, I just thought for six ninety nine I would give it a go. I'll probably try and get around about thirty ish for that. Um, high twenties, thirty ish for that. This I picked up because I do know that football memorabilia from the World Cup goes can command quite good prices. I haven't a clue, but I just picked it up anyway. It's ladies, it's like a, do they call it a tennis dress? And it's from uh, the World Cup 2016, Germany. And I did pay 5 99 for this. 
No idea of resale value on this. I've not got a clue. Um, but I would imagine as a general Adidas um, dress sort of thing, it would go for around about 20-ish. But if it's a bit of a special one, it might go for a bit more. So I haven't a clue. Anybody has any comments to make on this, I would really appreciate it. If you sell football memorabilia or stuff like that and you've, you've got an idea of um, if these go any for any better money than like 20 ish, then um, I'd be grateful if you could let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Getting to the end of the pile. Um, this is a uh, monsoon. Monsoon's a bit hit and miss for me, uh, but this was reduced and it was a size 22. It's like a geometric print uh, wool skirt. And I paid £3.50, yeah. Reduced from £7 to £3.50. So I thought, yeah, for £3.50. It's a big size. It's a wool skirt and it's for winter. So we'll give it a try. So Probably about 20-ish for that. This is a little bit out of my comfort zone, this next item. But it just caught my eye. Uh, I need to do some more research on it, but it's this um, beaded bag with the D-shaped wooden handles. I'd like to say it's vintage, but I'm not I'm not sure it is. I think it might just be vintage inspired. Uh, the beads are plastic. There's no name on it inside, but it's all just all beaded. I paid... Three ninety nine for this. Uh, no idea what I'm going to list it for. No idea of keywords or anything for it. So, uh, yeah, a bit of research to be done on that. I would hope that I could get around about between fifteen and twenty for it. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. So, but we'll have to see. Uh, last couple of uh, items. I've got uh, some Kodak um, printer ink. I have no idea. I looked to do a quick uh, look up in the shop, and uh, one was two ninety nine, and that one was three ninety nine, and they should be around about the twenty pound mark each, so um, roughly. So yeah, I thought you know I'll pick them up for that. Uh, these don't go for like loads, but uh, I have picked ink up before in the past and uh, been out of date, like the HP inks and the Epsons and stuff, they go for good money. A HP especially, I think I picked one up from the car boot sale and that sold for 60. It was like a um, three pack and a black, so the colours and a black, so they're always worth looking out for, even if they're out of date as well, people still do buy them. That was those. I got some curtains. I wasn't really sure whether to pick these up or not, but they're a large size. They're a 90 drop. They've got these, I don't know what you want to call them. They look like mushrooms to me, but they're not. Uh, these flower patterns on them. And they were 6 99 and they are 168 by 183. So they're the biggest size that you can buy. And they are from Next and they're lined. So I thought even if you only get 25 to 30 on them for 6 99 I'm quite happy with that. They're not really heavy. Like some of the curtains are really, really heavy. These are quite lightweight. So um, they should go as like a, a normal medium parcel. Usually I have to send my curtains via uh, UPS. Um, and that, that cost me around about 7 50 because they're so heavy. But they should be able to go uh, as a medium parcel with Royal Mail, I think. so. And right, two more items to show you. The first one is this. I got this tea set. Don't often do pottery, but when something catches my eye, uh, that I would possibly like myself, I tend to pick it up if it's a good money. Now, this was 4 99 but it's not just for the teapot. It's a twin tone. I don't know if it's coming across on there, but this is like, it's like a pink 
and grey, and it just it's just beautiful. Really, really good condition. That's the the lid. I don't know if you can see the the pinky colour on that. Um, so I got in the set the teapot. We got the milk and sugar bowl. Oh, sorry, I didn't tell you who it's by. It's by Pool Pottery, England. Um, yeah, so I got the milk and sugar bowl. They've got like the pink inside and the, it's like a mottled effect on the outside. I don't know if you can see, like a gray mottled effect, which is really nice. And then I got five cups and saucers and side plates. So that's the cup. So we've got five of these cups. So what I'm going to do is do it as a set of four and probably sell a cup and saucer separately. And these are the saucers. They're just like a plain pink. And then the side plates are like the mottled colour. So they look nice together. So I'm going to do a set of four of those and then I think I've got a couple of plates for each one left over and uh, a cup and saucer. So um, probably sell those separately. But for 4 99 for the full set, I thought it was it was a bargain. So I really love that. And one last item that I will show you, I will just go and get. And yeah, for one minute. Very disorganised. Right, the last item I'm going to show you is, put it in front of the camera, is this uh, very long, 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 long trench coat, and it is velvet. Velvet with a belt, button down, velvet coat by Wurrows. Very steampunk, gothy. Uh, when I saw this, when I actually saw this coat, the first thing I thought of was Heather the Treasure Pirate. And I thought if she saw that, she would more than likely snap it up because um, she likes things like that. I mean, I like things like that, but it just reminded me of Heather. I don't know why, it just did. Um, I paid $7.99 for it. Now, this charity shop is usually quite expensive. So this was quite cheap, really, because usually it, something like this would have been about £20. But the lining inside, it's not... It's come unstitched. It's not actually ripped, I don't think. Um, so I don't know whether to get it repaired and then sell it or whether to just declare it and sell it. Sorry, I'm just falling over everything here. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what to do with that one, whether to... I do have a lady that does repair things for me and she doesn't charge me as much as she should do, really. She's really good. She's a local local lady, uh, local business. I'm all for supporting your local businesses where possible. Um, but I think she would have to undo all the lining uh, to repair it. So I might just declare it and let somebody else take it to be repaired. Um, but the actual jacket itself is in beautiful, beautiful condition. It's very gothy. It like nips in at the waist and then flares a bit out at the bottom. And yeah, I love it. Love it. So apart from that, I did get some bedding. And I'll just quickly show you that before uh, I go. I don't want to keep you here too long. I'll just show you the pillowcases. This is sea salt. I have never seen sea salt bedding. And it's got little sewn on anchors, which I think is so, so cute. Very nautical. Uh, it's 100% cotton, which is uh, really good. I paid 4 99 for this. It's a double and two pillowcases. So hopefully I can get around about 20 for it. I'd be happy with 20, maybe a bit more with it being sea salt it's even got on the um the bottom of the duvet cover where you fasten it little anchor buttons which i think is so cute so attention to detail um and then i got uh, the charity shop where i work on a monday and a thursday um we got a great big mass it was like a house clearance uh one day a uh, gentleman and lady came in, I think it must have been um, rather the mother or father that had passed away, 
and they just literally brought absolutely loads of stuff. But they brought these in, and there's four all together. There's two yellow ones, and I'll just show you because they've got patterns in the middle. These are the candle wicks bedspreads. And they've got this one's got this in the middle. And they were the new, they'd never been worn, but they I had to wash them because they, they smelt. You know, when you get that stale smell when they've been in the attic or you know, they've been in the wardrobe for years and years. So, but they've washed up nice. They, they do still look new. Um, and they smell of fabric conditioner now instead of smelling of stale old people houses. Yeah. So, yeah, that one's the same, I think. Oh, it's very similar. And then, so there was two yellow ones. I paid three ninety nine each for these. And then there was two white ones. These ones have been used, but I just absolutely love these ones. They're all singles as well, which doubles sell better, but you can't be choosing. And I just, I couldn't leave them there. They've got these beautiful patterns all over them, like floral detail all over this one. So these were three ninety nine each, and I'm hoping to sell them for at least twenty pound each. And I might sell them in sets of two. I don't know yet. Oh, not quite sure. But yeah, I was uh, pretty happy with those. So that is everything that I picked up over the last couple of days. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please really put my teeth back in. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, if you like the contents in this video and you want to see more, if you click the subscribe button down below and the little bell, it will notify you when I'm uploading any more videos. I'm hoping to do a sales report sometime this week if I get the chance to. If not, it'll be next week. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I shall catch you all soon. Bye for now, guys.